So these graphs show the temperature t degrees Celsius as a function of time t hours. Match each graph with the vertical intercept and the rate of change. So we're looking for the y-intercept and the slope. So here are my y-intercepts and slope. So in this case here, for A, the slope is going to be one-third, one degree Celsius for every three hours. And then the y-intercept, the y-intercept is going to be this term here, negative three. So we're starting at negative three, and we are going up by one degree Celsius for every hour. So the slope is one third. So if we take a look at these graphs, okay, for A, the y-intercept is at positive three, and the slope is negative, looks like negative three, so this does not quite fit. For here, this, the y-intercept is negative three, but again, the slope in this case is gonna be three to one. Okay, so that doesn't fit either. If we take a look at this one here, this one does fit because we have a y-intercept of negative three, and then the slope ratio is gonna be one, change in y is one, the change in x is three, so the degrees is gonna be one degree Celsius for every three hours. Okay, so that's gonna be the correct one. So C goes with the first one. So the first equation is C. So then we take a look at the second one. This one has a y-intercept of 3, and this one has a slope of negative 3 to 1. So taking a look at the other graphs, so the other graphs, we have a slope of, the y-intercept is 3, the slope is negative, so it's going to be negative 3 to 1. So if I draw my slope here, there's my negative 3 plus 1, so the slope is negative 3 degrees Celsius for every plus 1 hour, so that's going to be the correct one. So A is going to match that graph here. So this one is going to be A. So we need to match both the slope and the y-intercept. So if I go to the last one, the starting point is negative 3, the slope is going to be positive 3, so that's got to be B. That's the only one left over, but we're just going to double check that. So taking a look at this graph here, yep, it's got a y-intercept of or a starting point of negative 3. If I take a look at my slope here, I'm just going to draw a bigger triangle. It's going plus 6 degrees Celsius for every 2 hours. Okay, so my slope is plus 6 degrees Celsius over 2 hours. And again, that's going to simplify to positive 3 degrees Celsius per hour, and that's going to match this one here. Okay, so it's going to match 3.